Welcome back to another My Memories. I haven't done one of these in a few months, but I thought I would start back up. Some of you have been asking about it, and it uh, seems like it's made a pretty big impact, and it's really made a big impact on me too. So today I'm going to be doing a My Memories for a game that is really near and dear to me growing up, a game that I spent way too many hours playing. It's a really amazing strategy JRPG, and that is Final Fantasy Tactics. By the time I played Final Fantasy Tactics, I was old enough to have the courage to play alone. For some reason growing up, I was always very, very scared of playing action RPGs, so turn-based and strategy RPGs were always my place of comfort. Tactics in particular invited me into a high fantasy world full of political intrigue. This was basically my version of Game of Thrones. <laughs> It was melodramatic, intensely emotional, and extremely epic. The Kingdom of Ivelisse was so deep and otherworldly, just like other Squaresoft games during that time. Tactics served as a beautiful, albeit frustrating, escape from home for me during a time where I was still oftentimes locked up in my room outside of school. By this point, I did get to hang out with other kids, but our time together was always fleeting due to my parents' strict schedule. The fighting never really stopped, and so I escaped into this world full of magic, dragons, and more jobs than I could imagine. I remember getting slammed very early in the game at the slums of Dorter. It took me so long to get past this part in the game due to the layout of the area and its many archers and mages. Easily one of the hardest battles in the game, but beating it felt so rewarding. I remember the sad relationship between protagonist Ramza and his childhood friend Delita. It broke my heart to see their deep friendship crumble because of their differing opinions on what it was to be noble. But Ramza's path opened my eyes to the idea of integrity and how one can remain humble while obtaining true strength. I remember sitting in menus for hours at a time adjusting my party's weapons, armors, and job classes. There were so many to choose from and explore. I remember some of my favorites being Ninja for the dual wield support ability, Monk for their devastating power, imagine that with the dual wield ability, Time Mage for status ailments, always my favorite way of whittling down my enemies, but way better as a later level job due to mana costs, and Mystic because once again status ailments are the bomb. I remember being so let down by Tactic's secret character Cloud. Unlocking him was quite the hassle, especially when you had to get his Materia Blade at the top of Mount Brevenia. I was so excited by the prospect of unleashing his final limit, Cherry Blossom, but was not as enthused once I got to that point, and realized how pointless all that grinding was. At least my other party members benefited from the experience. I remember how immersive the music was, and how I could just sit in the middle of a battle and listen. Sometimes I would sit for hours just so I could hear the subtleties within the music. I remember how long I tried to bait the assassins at Limberry Castle to cast Ultima on Ramza. That was basically the easiest way to get Ramza to learn the ability, but still so difficult to get it to happen. I remember Deep Dungeon towards the end of the game. I don't really miss that part considering there were 10 pitch black levels you had to battle through, but it did feel very rewarding to unlock the Zodiac summoning spell. I have absolutely no regrets about that side quest, plus it gave me a chance to challenge my party to their limits. Final Fantasy Tactics was an enchanting, although at times frustrating, game. Its many difficulty spikes left me wondering how I would ever even beat it, but through those challenges, it taught me to stay determined both in and out of game. Sometimes I felt like life was unfair, the ways in which I was raised and what I was exposed to since childhood. I was angry, I was 16 though too, and wanted a way out, an answer. But tactics taught me that there's many paths I could follow, not just one, and the way in which I carry myself can greatly affect how I determined my worth. That I really did matter in this world. So I hope you enjoyed my memories of this lovely game, Final Fantasy Tactics. I still think Monk is probably my favorite job. I gotta say, although I do really love that double strike ability you learn as a ninja, there's a lot of really fun aspects of this game and it was really hard for me to choose which memories were my favorite, but uh, 
yeah, I'm in love with this one. And so if you haven't tried it yet, I highly, highly suggest you do so. So as you may or may not know, I'm also on Patreon if you would be interested in supporting me there. This year I've had some really great supporters. I want to thank Victor Hunter, Brandon Beamish, Sir Hat, uh, Craig Halfpap, Alice Dixon, and Lee Gordon, as well as everybody else who I will be listing here as well. Uh, it's been really amazing having you and you know I've had some ups and downs on Patreon but overall like I gotta say I am so appreciative of all the support you've been able to provide. So if you are interested in helping support my campaign as various things, you know, a YouTube personality, artist, love to start doing Twitch as well gonna maybe start doing that soon <laughs> and a bunch of other things then please help support me on patreon so thank you so much for tuning in again and please stay tuned for lots more videos I'm gonna be releasing them in a higher circulation I still don't know if I'm necessarily gonna be doing a schedule but I want to be making more videos like I used to just not in machine mode so yeah <laughs> you'll be seeing a lot more from me I hope you all have an amazing day please like comment and subscribe and I will see you all later okay all right, peace.